All members of the watch, we are now under high alarm. Stay alert and detain any suspicious person on site. What's up, fellow gamers, and welcome back to Dishonored. We just got done finding Emily. So it's awesome. Rock on. Rock on. Phone charms? So many of them. Come on. Granny Rags! Come to dinner now, that's right. Well, sweet little birds. Come to Granny. Granny won't. It's good to see you again, dear. But don't dally, or that young girl might fall in the river. Well, isn't that just rude to say? I'm gonna steal all your monies. Oh, weepers. Distillery district, shall we? How do I get up to the distillery? This way? This way? Alright, let's go see Mr. What's his name? Boyum. Yes. Slack y'all! Slack y'all! Slackers! Yes, I killed some people, but it was highly necessary. Now, where is he? There he is. There he is. He's over this way. Come here! Hey! Brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. Cool. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, them Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Ha. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. Fantastic. That's fantastically awesome. Okay. D -d 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 -d. Return to Samuel. Meet Emily and Samuel at the boat. <coughs> I shall, I shall. Definitely somebody about. Watch it. It's me. I'm Look the one that's the about. Watch. They got no respect for law. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Lord Regent has ordered strict way of going Still a bone charm I never got. Oh well. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. Wonders wonder. Let's get Emily back. Hostiles, host, yeah, hostiles killed. Uh, 19, eh, my bad. Dead or unconscious bodies found, seven. Overall chaos, low. Good, didn't kill anyone, yes. Oh, I missed one rune, I missed one bone charm. There's no arts outside of shrines. Skull of those paintings found. Oh, I didn't get any of these paintings. I didn't know there was any of those. All right, anyways. 
A royal guest, Emily is now safe in the protective care of the Loyalist. With her well-being temporarily assured, it is time to remove the Lord Regent's remaining allies. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? Yes. I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, oh. <laughs> I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Yeah, I bet she heard all kinds of weird noises that were not appropriate for her age. Emily. Young lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. Good. Behave yourself and don't get kidnapped again. It's very inconvenient when you do that. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. Good. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. All righty then. Find Lord Pendleton. Where or where it could be. He's over there. Alrighty. Teleportation is ever so easy. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Cool. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Is that all you had to say to me? That whole, that whole thing? All of that? Just to say that you're angry about your own brothers? Your brothers were pricks. So I automatically win. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Okay. All right. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. Mm -hmm. That's it, then. Good. Now, who has another little side quest that I'm probably going to have to do before I leave? Alright, now where's my uh, friend that makes and sells stuff? You got anything new for me, Geppetto? Ask me for any gear you need. Okay, so what you can provide me. Can you provide me with anything, you pansy? I need some of these. There. I need some sleepy darts too. Okay, there. I'm good. Upgrades. What upgrades can you give me? Bullet capacity, mask optics, spring laser, bone charm capacity, bullet capacity, sword crossing, locking blades, pushing this enemy, cold pistol upgrade, accuracy, range, reload. I don't really, not really concerned about any of these, really. Hmm. 
I'll just go with the bone charm thing again. I'll increase the radius, because, you know, seems like a good idea. Crossbow accuracy. Sleep dart. Oh, that's perfect, yes. Yes. And crossbow accuracy. Perfect. I got more money, more money, more money. Next mission! Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Yes, we will. Just climb aboard when you're ready. I'm ready now. Caldwin's Bridge. The Royal Physician. You've been asked to abduct Anton Scovolo, the Royal Physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Your new allies want to obtain from Scovolo the name of the Lord Regent's mistress, a mysterious ally and one of his most powerful noble supporters. Sokolov lives in a large apartment somewhere atop Caldwin's Bridge. Dun dun dun. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? Yeah. That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions, and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Oh, 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 where is my heart? Okay. I see a rune and a bone charm. And okay. I smell bones in the pylons, blood beneath the stone locks, and a high building structure. Many seek the bridge for solace. Ruined men, men, and plague victims have all left from yeah, here. Give him a severely deadly beating is what. <coughs> okay, yeah, I got it. Severely deadly beating. Severely deadly beating. All right. <clears throat> Let me know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. You always amuse me. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across. Until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Okay. We're doing good so far. Doing good. Doing good. Except for the rat bastards. Get in. Uh. Ooh, I got the warehouse key. Awesome. Blueprints. All 
Alright, this is confusing. Whoa! A lot of you dudes. Well, things so far have gone quite well. Alright, are they all sleeping? Seems so. They're all taking their nappy naps. Now, where's my heart? Alright, I have the heart. I see a bone charm. I see the rune. Must be in this room here. Locked from the other side. Ah, all right. Whoa! Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge. Ah, the I see. Curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. No, keep going up. Got another bone charm. Ah! Good. Better not be a joke. Keep skulking around. I guess everything's all right. Oh, so many naps you people are taking. I would think the Lord Regent would be very upset with you with all this. All this napping you people do. Woo! Thank you. Oh, what's. We don't need that switch. Now. We don't need. Any of that. Whoops. That was my bad. There we are. That's better. Alright. Now, bone charm over there. That's what I want. Do, 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 do. 
Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. How no pedestrian you? movement is allowed along Caldwin's you. Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Alright, I see the bone charm. I see the spotlights. Ah, through the door I must go. Yes, open it. <clears throat> Well now, Mr. Pratchett, even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, Arthur. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. Artman can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul smelling of the Well, this is quite interesting. Uh, safe. Ah. Uh. Okay, remember that the tr truth is in the paintings. The way to the truth starts on the crowded streets. Continue until you see an anchored whaling ship. From there, find the slaughterhouse and the truth will be revealed to you. So the paintings will tell me how to open that safe is what I'm gathering. I get to knock unconscious now. <laughs> ah, sleepy, sleepy. Mad survivor. Oh, I got another room. I get to visit him. Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark, hmm. so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Well, aren't you interestingly rude? Huh. Dead corpse. Okay, January... Oh, journal entry, part one. Nineteenth day, month of seas, what will I do? She left and took her things back to her family, as if that will help. The plague will get us all. Third day, month of nets. I've been offered work on one of the whaling, whaling boats. I'll be leaving this place at last. Later, I will find a place on Tyvian. Tyvia, to the north. The winters are cold there. No rats, no plague. Twenty-eighth day, month of nets. Last day of the month, my fortunes have turned. I found something shiny, shiny and old. Looks like whalebone, which is supposed to be lucky. Journal 
Journal Entry Part 2, sixth day of the month of rain. My cousin Emil is coming soon. Bringing a bird to roast. I'm going to see if any of the shops are still open. Maybe I can buy apples or some potatoes. Tenth day, month of rain. I put my whalebone carving on a shelf, but I could not see it from some parts of the room, so I made a little pedestal for it. It looks nice in the candlelight. Fifteenth day, month of rain. Sometimes I dream about it. In the dreams, it makes sounds like the wind through the broken window. On some nights, the wind sounds like a voice. I was supposed to go to the docks to the ship out, but I remember too late. It was days ago. Journal Entry Part 3 18th day, month of rain. My cousin came, but he f we fought over it. When I came into the room, he was holding it. I screamed at him, and we fought. Now I filled, now I'm filled with remorse. 26th day, month of rain. He's still sitting in the corner across from the candles. He was a thief. Second day, month of wind. I wonder how he knew about it. Coming to dinner was a trick. Maybe he told others. Seventh day, month of wind. Barricades in the halls outside. It is safe now. Eleventh day, month of wind. The watch came. Taking people away. The neighbors. Someone in the building has the rat plague. Gone now. It promises to protect me each night. It promises. Okay, well, this is quite interesting. I found a toilet with a pooper. Got a loaf of bread. Anything interesting in there? No. Hmm. I'm supposed to go to turn off these stupid lights. Game one. Bet is five coins each. Jack Quilty. Do, 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 do. Okay. Touch the charger before your ship when the duty officer brings it by, and the arc pilot will fly. Those things? Give me the willy, sir. You'll be thankful when Slackjaw's boys come down the street to slit your rigor. It'll be fun the to fuck are you for looking at? Huh. There was a time when we didn't need these things to keep a gang of kids down. I think since the plague hit, none of them expects to live past 20. So why be scared of anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be scared of all kinds of things. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode, folks. And probably my playthrough. So just to prove that fact, I'm going to save my game. But anyways, please remember to like, subscribe, leave comments down below, share this video, favorite this video, share, spread the word. I'm trying to get this all done here stealthy and nice as possible so i can start another season of xcom because that's why most of you came but anyways till next time my fellow gamers have a good day the beloved empress dead and everyone thinks you're the killer but we know what really happened don't we